All right, enough talking about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. When do we start making maps? Well, the answer is right now, today. So what I'd like to introduce you to today is Leaflet, um, the Leaflet plugin, basically JavaScript plugin. And to get all the information you'll need about Leaflet, you can just simply go to leafletjs.com, and you're going to be using this website a lot if you use Leaflet, which I, I'm a big fan of, as are many others. It's an open source JavaScript library, and basically it helps you make really kick-ass, sorry, pardon, well, whatever, I'm not that sorry, kick-ass maps on the web. And it's very intuitive. Um, some of the, the coding is, and the API interface is actually much better in some ways, or easier, I would argue, than many of the proprietary versions, and it's really taking off. So it's a good, good API to get familiar with. Um, by and large, if you follow the tutorials, you'll be able to do what I'm about to show you very quickly. And um, there um, are tutorials, feature articles here and stuff. Sorry, the web's kind of slow today. Um, everything it can do for you. Tutorials, quick start, making markers with custom icons, which I, I just made some videos on as well because they don't show you how to make them per se. Um, basically mobile, using GeoJSON. So a bunch of really cool stuff. But the main thing you're going to want to look at is the API reference. And this, you really want to get, become familiar with using API references. And actually, Leaflets is really well organized and arranged. At first, it's very intimidating. But basically, this is all the um, JavaScript code that, the, that you can use uh, to control a map in Leaflet. And the cool thing about Leaflet is you can bring in tiles from Google Maps, a variety of sources. Generally, you'll use OpenStreetMaps, and it's, it's, it's awesome. And then these basically, when you click on these, it tells you what you can do to your map and how to add data, etc. So a couple things we need to do here, first and foremost. Um, one thing I recommend doing is actually downloading the Leaflet JavaScript library and placing it on your website. It's a small text file. And to do that, you go to Download. And you simply download the the leaflet file. Now, here's why. Because it's a JavaScript file, basically you're going to have to link to it from within your HTML document. It's an external JavaScript file. Now you can link to the source, the website here, but it's often a little bit faster if if you actually upload this leaflet.js file to your own website and um, link to it in an at, from an assets folder, etc. So it gives you a little bit more control. You're not dependent upon their servers, etc. Um, so I recommend doing that. You'll also need to download their um, Leaflet CSS because that has some of the design, you know, functions, etc. That you'll be using in their maps. So you download these two uh, two files, and I believe they all come down in a zip file when you download here. You extract them, you upload them to your website, put them in a folder, and then you can access them. The source and the href will be. The folder on your site. One other thing that's really useful to do, and I, it's not Leaflet directly, but it's Leaflet associated, is CloudMade. Um, let's go to CloudMade here. Let's see. CloudMade is a company that basically creates products that work with Leaflet and a lot of other open source software, and that you get free access up to like a, a hundred thousand map views or something. And uh, it's really an excellent site. And basically. There's one tool in particular that's really useful. They, they allow you to style map tiles. Now, map tiles are, are basically background images that are loaded into a web browser of a, a base map, typically. And they have a really cool style editor for OpenStreetMap that I want to show you. In order to do that, you have to sign up to get an API key. So you click there, you sign up, and eventually you get an API, uh, an API key. Let's see if I can sign in and show you what it's like. I'm trying to speed this up. So once you have an account, you can sign in. And you'll get an API key. And you'll need that in order to bring in map tiles into Leaflet. So Leaflet doesn't actually, it's an API that allows you to use other people's map tiles and stuff and, and access them and control them in certain ways. 
via their own interface, but they don't actually do the tile providing for you. So you do want to go to CloudMade and get an API key, and the reason is uh, so that you can use their style editor, which I'll show you in a later, a later demo, I guess. All right, so you've downloaded Leaflet, and let's just take a look here. I'm going to open my site folder that's on my desktop, not on a website, but um, if we check this out, we should have in here a JavaScript folder, so assets, JavaScript, and then I, I downloaded some more plugins, but basically Leaflet, this is what you'll have. You'll unzip it, you'll put it on your website so you can access it, and there's a CSS file and a JS file. You're not really going to mess with those, but you'll need those to use, unless you access these, you won't be able to use the Leaflet API. So, let's go into Dreamweaver or your HTML editor of your choice. And what I have set up here is simply I have a header that says my first leaflet map. And I have a div here that is fairly large, I guess. And then I have a footer down here promoting my book. Well, you got to do it, right? Um, and the first thing you're going to want to do is link to your um, CSS your leaflet CSS, your leaflet style, style sheet. So you li just link to that like any external um, CSS file. So link, blah, 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 blah. And I'll post this file online as well so you can steal, steal the, uh, the coding here. And then you also need to link to the leaflet JavaScript file, which you do by writing script. And before you close the script tag, adding a source, etc. So what this does is, all of the JavaScript in that external leaflet JavaScript file, which they've written and it looks like crazy to us, um, all of that is now accessible. It's all imported. So you can use their codes. Stop. You can use your their codes in your in your own um, in your document. And same with the leaflet CSS. So they have a ton of CSS for formatting their maps. You can now use that. I also link to my own CSS file because I want to style certain things on my web page like headers and the footers and um, those types of things. So you, remember you can always bring in more than one JavaScript, external JavaScript file and more than one external um, um, CSS. So here I have, I bring in my CSS, then I bring in their CSS, then I bring in their JavaScript, and then that's the head. Basically uh, we'll call this leaflet first map is the name of the page. All right, the head ends and we go to the body here and actually I'll shrink this. So now we're in the body and I've created a div um, with for the header, a div for a map and generally you will always almost regardless of which API it's standard you use the uh, ID name map at least for the first map on a page and then I created a footer. All right, so I'll shrink this down you guys don't need to see all that space there. And this is where the magic happens. So right now it's just an empty div. And what we're going to do is use leaflet, JavaScript, leaflet, basically, yeah, JavaScript to create a map and place it in our, in our map div here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to actually create a variable in JavaScript called map, because that's what we're making here. And to do that, um, if you went through the W3Schools tutorials, you know to create a variable, you simply type var, and we'll call it map. And then, how do we create a map? Well, if you forget this in the future, A, I recommend you open up previous projects and just copy the code we're about to type. But this is where this site comes in very handy. So we can go to the API, and it will tell us how to call or create a map here. So, map. Hey, var map equals l dot map map. That's the um, the map div. Basically, put it in the map div, and center. This is the latitude longitude centered on fifty one north, and just west of Greenwich there. So basically, on on the prime meridian, zoom level thirteen. One thing about zoom levels is they go from uh, low is 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 uh, further out and high is further in. So twenty is um, 20 is as zoomed in as you can get with most APIs. I hope I have that right for this one. And then down here it tells you what you can do. All the map options, if we click on that, 
it'll say you can center it, you can set the zoom, you can have, um, you can tell it which layers, this is a little bit beyond us right now, but which layers to have on or which ones to have off initially. You can set a minimum zoom and a maximum zoom, which is very useful because uh, on some maps you don't want people zooming in too far because they won't get any more details and they'll just get confused. I talk about that in my book. You can set the um, max bound, so the latitude and longitude bounds. And if you click on this, it'll tell you how to do that, for example. So a lot of hyperlinks here. But these are all your options when you set it up. You can also set interaction options. Do you want it to be draggable? Do you want it to touch zoom, etc.? Um, and look at the type here. You have Boolean, which means true or false. So that means it's just going to be yes or no, yes or no, or true, false. Um, very, very cool stuff. So let's go back and let's just copy this code. And basically the same idea. One thing to be careful of when you do copy code like this is that the quotes and stuff don't get all goofy on you because sometimes that'll happen. And let's actually, uh, let's set min zoom. I think that's right. Min zoom. Let's see. Minimum zoom, let's say 10. Max zoom, 15. Let's make sure we're typing that right, because remember, typos are the end-all be-all. And this is one reason I always emphasize writing camel case. It's standard, and if other people are writing it, you know how they're going to write things. Min, zoom, max, zoom. Um, right. Okay. So we're going to go back here, and this is how we created our variable. We now have a map variable that will go in the map div. And it's a map. It'll be centered on this. Let's change the latitude longitude to something. I don't know. I'm more a fan of. Let's do 40 north and. Where should we go? Let's go east today. 45 east. All right, we'll see where we end up. So we got that. But this is just a variable. Right now, it is. We've created this. It's a value, but it doesn't say to put it anywhere. It doesn't actually. We, ha we haven't called a function to place it anywhere. And so what we need to do now is actually bring in some background, right? I mean, we're basically saying this is where you center the map on the, uh, on the globe and stuff, but we don't have a map yet. So what we have to do is create uh, import what's called a tile layer. Basically, there are all these tiles out there that different companies put up. Google Slippy Maps, they're often referred to. And OpenStreetMap has a bunch of free tiles. Um, and and uh, CloudMate, I should say, basically produces these for you. So. If we go back to the reference here, uh, where are we? All right, da, da, da. let's scroll down. We can set views, blah blah blah, all of this. Um, you can look through this stuff, or you can go to tile layer, and this is what we need: use to load and display tile layers on the map. All right, let's try it. So we can copy this. And you'll be finding that you copy a lot of things, because why rewrite it or memorize all of this fine details? Hopefully you start to memorize some of it. Now, here's the uh, trick. We've got our key. This is the API key I showed you from CloudMade. So we want to go back here, go to CloudMade. And remember, I left this up. Right-click, copy, and paste. So that's my API key. And then there's this thing called style ID. What the heck is style ID? Well, let me show you. Um, I don't know how to get to it from here. So what we will do is simply type cloudmade style editor. Good lord, the web's slow today. So. Basically, CloudMade has a ton of maps up here, and you can filter them by searching for the name or the author. These are all different styles. Notice some have buildings, some don't. So basically, people have decided what they want to include on the map. Um, let's go for a mellow background. If you want to create your own based off of one of these, you can simply click on full screen and go to clone style. And then you can actually add more features, subtract features, change the colors, etc. 
But here's the thing I want to show you really quickly. I don't want to show you how to create your own maps per se. You guys can go in and play with that. What I do want to show you is the um, map style number, which it asked for in our API thing. And that's the number down here. So I'm just going to take this first one, Wild Honey. Love it. We can just do this and copy. And we will paste the style ID without the mustaches right there. All right. Um, key, I think I already pasted the API key. I'm not sure we really need that. Um, so hopefully I didn't screw this up, but I don't think so. We will just delete those things there. And instead what we'll do is we will write, um, again, we could put the max zoom here, but we already have that earlier. But why not put it again? Max zoom, 15. And you should put attribution generally, although don't go nuts. And if you put it elsewhere, I think that that's really cool as well. I don't always think it should be on the main page. But then again, if someone asks you to put it there, you better do it so you don't get your, uh, in big trouble. All right. So we've got that. That's great. And let's see if this actually works. So we're going to hit File, Save. And we are going to go here and find the file that we need. Let's see, leaflet intro vid and it doesn't work okay so what has gone wrong okay I feel like a complete moron and you guys can lambast me in comments or whatnot I forgot to add script tags so of course this didn't work haha <laughs> so um, once you add script tags, it works just fine. What that means, of course, is that if you want to write any JavaScript, you have to add script, and then you need to add an end script tag. So, my bad and a complete amateur mistake. Just basically, you know, live and learn, I guess. So, um, basically everything has stayed the same here. We have zoom, we have minimum zoom, maximum zoom. I'll actually get rid of the max zoom here because it doesn't matter. We have it up here. The map um, variable here um, does the same thing. And so what we have is these CloudMade tiles. I've pasted in the style that I want. I have my API key. I've added uh, attribution information. And let's uh, see what happens. Let's, so we hit save, and we go here and hit refresh. And we're at a zoom level somewhere 45 east. If I zoom out a little, I can get an idea that we're somewhere in the middle uh, east. And actually, look at this. I can't zoom out anymore. Remember I set the min zoom level? And if I zoom in... Is there a maximum zoom? Yes, there is. I can't zoom any, in anymore. So we set a maximum and a minimum zoom. And more importantly, notice that we set a style where now if we want to overlay some of our own data, it's really going to pop out. And if we actually thought that there's still too many place names on here, we could have gone into the style editor and said, don't show place names or don't show the major roads. I don't know why you do that per se, but you could have done it. And I have no idea where we are, so I'm trying to get a reference point here. A lot of meandering lake type river things. Oh, here we go. All right, coast, finally coast. But um, this is it. So this, you've created your first leaflet map and we can start to do crazy things like add markers shortly. Thank you for watching and being patient and not making too much fun of me.